All right, welcome to Smokey Reacts. I'm your boy, Journalist, and on this one, we are checking out another Mums Do Something or Grandmas Do Something. It's somebody that can cook. So today, it is uh, Chinese Grandmas Try Each Other's Chinese Grandmas Dumplings. That's a terrible title. Uh, they should just left it the Chinese Grandmas Try Each Other's Dumplings. I don't know why you had to say Chinese twice. That's weird. But uh, I want to check this out because obviously you guys are kind of getting introduced to me and i'm kind of getting more comfortable just like telling you guys certain stuff that i do at the crib so i actually like i do a lot of cooking i do a lot of like asian cooking and shit like that like from like scratch like yo i gotta go get fresh lemongrass and all that bullshit so when i seen this i was like oh this is right up my alley i already like a lot of asian foods they're probably gonna show me some techniques i could fucking probably pick up and then also i'm gonna talk a little bit of shit just in case i see some shit that i think is wild uh yeah it's pretty much how it goes with me but uh, yeah, let's get into this one. If you could please hit that like and subscribe. Let's get into this one. If there's any other ones you want me to check out, I for sure will. But uh, yeah, let's go. She got the lucky one. Go home, get lucky. It's ready. Put down. Thumbling. Was it fire? Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Lily Yen. And I am from Taiwan, so I'm gonna show you how to make Chinese dumpling Taiwan styles. Okay, let's get started. So usually I marinate with the soy sauce, and uh, not much because uh, we're gonna put some salt, so you don't want too much soy sauce. Add some white pepper, and then uh, put a little bit of ginger in there. Ginger is good for the body. When you have a cold, that's my grandmother would say, to take a... If you have an upset stomach, a cold, Really, if you feel like really nauseous, it's gonna sound wild. You take a fucking root of ginger and you bite that shit like it's an apple. I'm talking skin and all, cause that's how sick I've been before doing this. Just chew that shit up, it's gonna be spicy as hell. I promise you 10 minutes later, you may not feel perfectly fine, but it will have some impact. I promise you. Where you're cold. So then you want to sit this aside for 10, 15 minutes, and then, then you, you want to drop your green chopped vegetables, about two thirds of the meat and one third of the vegetable. And then just kind of mix together. First time I see anyone using bok choy in the dumpling. Oh, the first time for me too. Mm -hmm. well, I, I never, never see anybody do that. I usually don't use the Chinese cabbage because it's too much water. You blow the dumpling skin. And then I put some wine. And that's why she chooses bok choy over the Chinese cabbage. Just in case, don't nobody's picking up on that. I'm just helping y'all out. In there, just to make it taste good. So what you do is it because well, then I put some wine in there. Just see, that's the thing. I, that looks like Chinese cooking wine, but it could be sherry cooking wine, and I don't know. And because we're doing Chinese, I'm gonna say <laughs> sherry is a good substitute, but it's not good enough. It doesn't have that um that right tang to it. To make it taste good. You're just better off if you don't have a sherry. Well, excuse me, if you don't have a Chinese fucking cooking wine because it does have a completely different taste. Uh, I prefer to use like a white or a apple cider vinegar would be the, the closest thing. So what you do is that because it's a machine make skin, so you need to use water to dip on the side so it will stick it together. So when we were a kid, they can wrap all kinds of shape. But my grandmother always make it like Chinese money. It's nice, right? The way she's folding it, it's so Pretty. cute. Pretty. Yeah. And then you put the almond in the center. You can hide it. This is like secret ingredient. You don't want to tell anybody. So the lucky person is just going to have the almond in the center. And when they bite, it, it's like crunchy. I That's wish my husband would do that and put a diamond ring in it. Oh my God. <laughs> Until you break your goddamn tooth on that diamond ring and then you talk about Lee Wei, why you do this to me? And now he gotta buy a grill to get your shit fixed. No, let's not do that. F jewelry in food is ignorant as fuck. There's better ways to do it. Well, I'm not gonna say it's ignorant as fuck. Putting it in something that is meant to be consumed before it can be spotted that, oh, I'm trying to give you an expensive gift, that is ignorant as fuck. So I'm ready to put in the boil water. You can just slowly put it in there, okay? And then you want to make sure you stir a little bit. You don't want to then it's stuck different. in the bottom. And then I just pour another cup of water. And then I just put the cover. When the dumpling is ready, they will flow on top. And meanwhile, I can just mix the sauce, soy sauce. And then I have a little sashimi oil. Put mm -hmm. a little wine in there just for the taste. Okay. Some people like a lot of wine so they can get a little buzz. Okay, and then I have to put... Oh, she's using real wine. Unless Chinese cooking wine has a high cook uh, alcohol 
uh, content in it, and I just don't know because I just be using it, and I'm not I'm not looking at cooking wines. Like that's a bottle, boy. And I don't cook with a. Uh, I only cook with actual wine. That shit is trash. Put that shit in my cup, not in my food. Let's do a shot in there. Except, shout out to Sean Neely. Wherever your mother is, if she wants to make a pasta alla vodka for the boy, I'm gonna fuck. What she do? I know she use real liquor. She could use it. Everybody else, fucking get out of here with that shit. And garlic and ginger. And then I usually put a little jalapeno. Actually, this is not Chinese, just for the test. That's your dipping sauce. So they all blow up like this, okay? When I could look like a little bubbles. So meanwhile, I just put some oil because if you don't finish right away, they stick it together. The thing about my shape, okay. it, it can even stand up. Look at that. <laughs> This is just completely different to my technique, only for the fact of I would not do this, not the boiling part, but we're going to, I'm not going to dump boil them. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of oil, some water, and a, a little skillet, steam them for eight minutes, remove the top, and then let the oil and water evaporate, and then add a crust the bottom, or excuse me, crisp the bottom. That's why I'm like, this is different. But I would not be upset if I just got completely soft dumplings either. <laughs> My name is Xiao Zhe Liu. I came from Xiao Zhe Liu. It's such a tight mouth when you say fucking Chinese words. Xiao Li Liu. My name is Xiao Zhe Liu. I came from Xiao mainland of China called Shenyang. It's not sweet. Shenyang. First of all, I'm gonna soak a spice. Get rid of the fishy smell from the meat. Spice. Bring. <laughs> It sounded like she says smile, but she's saying get rid of the fishy smell. Onion and ginger. And I'm gonna put hot water inside. What? Any grandma make dumpling, they can make a pork dumpling. But lamb is difficult. You got to cook perfect, otherwise it doesn't taste good. Honestly, up I don't to her. know how to use pork. I don't even know how to use chicken. Shout out to this Chinese mom. All the people, and it's not just women, every person I've seen on here is always either too nice, a hater, or they're here to have a good time, like this lady here on the right. However, there's that rare person that truly wants to learn something. This motherfucker is filming, why being filmed, the technique of another person, so she could watch that shit back later, so she could be like, oh, that's what that bird did. Okay. I can't wait to do this. That's going to be perfect. Shout out to her, because that's exactly kind of the reason why I'm watching this. Pick up shit I don't fucking normally do. That's why I've seen her do that water shit. I don't know what she did. I wish she'd explain it more, but I've never seen anybody put hot water in the dumpling ingredients, like the veggie portions in there. Just put the garlic and the onions in there already. Why? I don't know. Okay. Next time, I'm gonna make a dough. Only flour and uh, with warm water. Oh, she's doing you this know, shit from scratch, scratch. Hot water, cold water. Me prefer the warm water. That way, the dough. Me prefer the warm water. It's not Shut too soft, not too hard. It's perfect condition. I think. Okay now, so far. Now I like let it just leave like 20 minutes. But normally like two hours, three hours is better. Cover it tight, don't let moisture go out. So much mess. What the heck if we work all day and I come home to do this together? <laughs> Modern time, you just use the store bought uh, wrapper. Okay, next step. Um... And that response is the difference between a traditional Chinese lady and a super traditional Chinese lady because this lady cooking right now is super traditional. She's not letting no pre-made rappers come into her fucking house. She out here making a dough from scratch. The other lady, she's ah, I ain't got time for all that shit. I'm gonna make me the rest of the shit. But that dough? Nah, that, I feel like that suffices. And for me, I'm like half and half. Depending on the time, I might be like the other lady. Give me the rappers from the store. But if I'm feeling bougie, I'm for sure doing this. I'm making my dough, I'm rolling it out. Shit, got me a little KitchenAid mixer with the little pasta attachments. I had that shit popping. Stop playing. I'm gonna put the cooking wine into the meat, soy sauce. This is my special yeah, one. Low I got salt, that. But more tasty. Look good too. A bit is soft. it actually? Is that this one is better? My special one. Low salt, but more tasty. Look good too. A bit I'm just. I was gonna get up and go get my bottle of that shit just to flex. Like I'm not just doing this shit just to be talking. Like, but nah, I really, I got that shit in my cabinet, but I have the regular one. I didn't know the low sodium one might be more flavorful, but I don't trust a lot of low sodium products because they fuck up the, the taste. It's soft. 
This is called massage the lamb. Next step, make this uh, spicy water. So this water can kill the fishy smell. I call it fishy smell. Oh. Now is the fun part. You, you know. So she beats the gaminess of the lamb with ginger, onion, garlic, steeped in hot water to pull out the acidic stuff that would then normally help break that. That's a smart fucking play. That's a good little technique. So, what? I've never thought about that, but I also don't eat a lot of lamb. Like, literally at all. I probably had lamb four times in the past, like, two years, maybe. You know, you got to do the clockwise or counterclockwise. One direction. You don't mix it. You don't, like, do this one, this one. You don't do that. Then when I was a kid, I'd see my mom do this all the time. And I try to help. I try to do the different way. My mom said, no, no, you cannot do that. I said, why? You mess up the lamb. I said, why? No, not tasty. Why? I don't ask me why. Too many questions. It's just not good, OK? I said, OK, I just watch and eat. This is exercise, too. Work out, you know? Whew. Did you see the perfect time? Not too much watery and not dry. That's the perfect. Now I'm okay. Mixed okay. Honey. I like red honey better. White honey is a little sweet. Just be. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna do this video right after. There's a show called Chopped in America where they give you like a basket of like ingredients or whatever, and you gotta just come up with some shit. And there's this one episode where this guy just there's a judge who first round. He's like, oh, it's like your dish was good, but like those red onions in the dish you've prepared, they're just a little bit too aggressive. So he lets him know lightly. And then the next two, three rounds, I think even all the way to the dessert round, that nigga's like, red onions, red onions. And that nigga just, I think the dude's name is Scott. He just keeps getting pissed. Like, bro, I keep telling you about these fucking onions one more time. And then we get in the dessert round. Nigga still has onions, I think, if I remember it correctly. I should do that video after this one. But every, anytime I see red it's onions, red now, onion that's what I think is of. spicy. Oh, that's a lot of onions. And it has a lot of water, too. And then she already dumped the water in it. <laughs> and the cucumber. Cucumber make the dumpling like fresh. Damn, she is using a lot of watery, watery vegetables, but they do fucking shrink, so maybe. I don't know. Smell. Sashimi oil a little bit. This is olive oil. I use a lot more sesame oil. the water of the vegetables inside. That's all for the meat. This now I'm a... Oh, she's so smart. She's emulsifying the water into the fucking oil. Ah, it's so good. Taking out of the top. Make the skin. Oh, very well, good. Got to use one thumb into press and the one hand, you know, oh. roll it. Like this. After you do the dumpling, you thumb, you know, you'll be sore. <laughs> then you make huh? a hole inside. <laughs> and just do like this. I see a lot of people cut uh, little pieces. I prefer like use my hand, like a piece of art. It's a fun. I enjoy it. Now I put a little dry flour on the top. So when you make the skin, it doesn't stick on the board. Huh? I use the stick to make the skin. She does it so professionally. Wow, looks so to thin too. See the way you got to roll this so very fast. She makes these so fucking often. She got the little mini rolling pin that's perfect for her hand. Her technique is so... Oh, just, fuck, man, how do you say this lady's name? Xiao Zhilo. That shit is fucking... A, yo, that shit look good. It's not even cooked yet. Otherwise, it's too much here to less there. The center is a little hard. You don't go all the through, otherwise the dumpling will burst. Finished. Filling in. When I was a kid, I told you my grandma make the dumpling like this. I said, Ma, grandma, look like, look, look like a bug. I don't want to eat it. She said, you got to eat it. After I cook it, you'll feel the bug delicious. Look, pretty or not? Now is the steam dumpling time. Oh, on top of the cabbage too? Oh my gosh, this shit is so it's fucking enough. traditional. Put on the top, you will count. 13 minutes. In the meantime, I can make garlic sauce. First of all, put the garlic and then soy sauce. Okay. Lady, that is amino acid sauce. What are you talking Oh, shit. That's amino acid sauce. What is yeah, liquid amino acids is literally from, from, that's not Maggie, though. That's from, what is that, Bragg or somebody? I can't remember the name of that company. That's not soy sauce, though, okay. but... And then sashimi oil. Let me mm -hmm. mix it. Okay, let's check out the product. 
Unless liquid amino acids is just another way for soy sauce, but in America, it's liquid amino acids. That should, soy sauce is soy sauce. Liquid amino acids is something separate. And so is Maggie sauce. Oh. Who wanna try it? I do. Them shits look so good. Hi, my name is Susanna Tan, and I'm from Hong Kong. Today, okay. I'll be making truffle the Democratic dumplings. Republic. Do you know how to spell truffle? It's kind of expensive, no? Okay, fucking truffle dumplings. Do you know how to spell truffle? It's kind of expensive. <laughs> I'm so shocked that her technique and cooking knowledge is so varied and deep. But then when it comes to truffle, she's like, the fuck is a truffle, yo? Now, granted, I know what a truffle is. I've literally not had one yet, and I live in Los Angeles. Expensive, no? Okay, first of all, I have half a pound of pork here, and I have a piece of ginger, and I'm going to add some water to it. So I let this sit while I put the rest of the ingredients in it. So I have a Poison. teaspoon of oyster sauce, a mm. teaspoon of soy sauce, and okay. a pinch of pepper, and then I add negra. some truffle salt. What is that? Is it MSG? Oh, don't put MSG. Don't do it. Truffle. What is, what is wrong with MSG? What? Uncle Roger's gonna have a fucking conniption. Oh, pate, you can add as much as you can. Put MSG, don't do it. Salt. What is that? Is it MSG? Oh. No, it's truffle oh, salt. Don't put MSG, don't do it. Truffle, pate, you can add as much as you can, honestly. And the truffle oil. I'm going to strain the ginger water. And now I'm going to mix it all together. I just loosen it up in the liquid until I get the consistency that I want. I do not need it because personally, if I need it, I find that feeling becomes very thick and hard after you cook them. And now I will just add the chives. I do not use a lot of chives because chives has its distinctive taste to it. And because this is a truffle dumpling, you do not want the chives to cover the taste of the truffle. Yeah. Voila! So now I'm going to wrap it. I cannot fold it like how other people can really fast. I am pretty slow in doing this, but patient pays, worth the wait. I like to make eight folds on my dumpling because eight is very auspicious for the Chinese. Eight means prosperity. And when you make the dumplings, it's supposed to be in the shape of a Chinese golden nugget, just like this, like a half moon. So that's how it is. I'm all ready to fry them. I'll add a little oil, just a little bit first. It's not mm -hmm. hot yet, so you can just well, swirl it okay. around. Okay, that's different. So that I don't do that. The bottom has a bit of oil. Arrange it nicely, but make sure that it's not touching each other. Okay, now that it's a little bit sizzling, not a lot, I can add the water to it. Okay, outside. that's how you get your chip popping? You can hear it sizzles a little bit, and I'm going to cover it with the water. Eight minutes. Steaming, half steaming, half boiling. Fry is most delicious, but fry, you got to have a very good skills. Okay, now that you see the water has evaporated a lot, you can add the oil so that we're going to fry. All right, this is just far too long. Literally, all you have to do is put a little bit more extra oil in in the beginning. So like two, two and a half teaspoons. Add a cup, no, 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 a third of a cup of water. Cover for eight minutes, uncover, let the water and the oil evaporate and just make sure your shit doesn't burn. And when it starts to brown at the bottom, you take it out. Super simple. It's like one of those uh, set and forget type things once you get it in the dumpling stage. The bottom of it, so it becomes crispy. Okay, sounds very good. It looks pretty much done. Let's see how crisp it looks. It's mm -hmm. golden brown. Mm, it smells good. It's gotta taste good. And that's it. Here it is. Party time, girl. <laughs> yeah, it's eat something. Before anybody eats, I'm gonna say that uh, Xiao Xiao Xi has the best dumpling. The lady that went last has second best. And then the lady who went first has third best. However, they all look delicious, though. So I don't actually fucking know. Try Lily, yours first. 
Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, so good. Girl. So juicy. Can you try yours? Yes, of course. Of please, course. please, please, please. Well, you use a very expensive oil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll try yours, King. Mm -hmm. Tell me the truth. First time I have lamb. If I didn't know that she has a lot of mannerisms like her father, I now know that she is a real daddy's girl. She moves like her dad, and I can tell. And I don't even know this lady. With the whole armor on the shoulder, tell me the truth. That's some shit I know her daddy be doing to niggas. In your whole life? In my whole life. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Mm -hmm. It is so good. And why, why are your girls that don't make that don't make the dough? Because they don't have the money. Okay, honestly, because I don't know how to make dough. <laughs> oh, how about you? I know how to do it. You just don't want to do it. Yeah, because it's too much work. Oh. <laughs> but lazy, lazy girls. The dough tastes good if you made uh, your own, See, right? Yeah. Yeah. Different taste. It, yeah, it tastes taste different. It's not only the lamb. I yeah. think it's the soul. My soul. Oh, okay. So my soul. <laughs> I told you. Yeah, dancing down plane. What is that crunchy thing in it? You got a leaf. Oh, I see. You're the lucky one. Oh, thanks, thanks for watching. watching. Licks are delicious as well. Hey, this was this was dope. This was dope. Uh, thank you for checking this out with me. I learned a couple of things. Actually, I didn't expect to learn as much as I did. But yeah, thank you very much. If you could please hit that like and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. I'm off to the next one. Peace.